Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and uh, have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, the trick is to um, is to if, if you look at the numerator, the trick is to factorize factorize out n factorial. So uh, so rewrite the the, uh, the numerator as n factorial one and then plus keep this exactly the same n minus one and then factorial over over n factorial. Now if you if you get this and then multiply with this, it will then give you this thing here. So so for the numerator for the numerator rewrite it as this. So this is exactly the same as this. So factorize um, factorize out n factorial. That will then give you this. Basically if you get this times this, this times this, the whole thing here is exactly the same as this. So you do use the same technique for the denominator. Select the bigger of the two. So n minus one, n minus two. So this one seems to be the bigger, the bigger one of the two. So uh, so so factorize out n minus one. So uh, n minus one factorial, um, and then you've got your one here, and then you've got the exact same thing, and then over n minus one factorial. So uh, so now if, if you get this times this, and then this times this that will then give you the denominator so rewrite this as this rewrite this as this so now um, now tidy tidy it up so that will then uh, uh, if, if you look at this let's let's look at this bit here um, you got n here and then n minus one so that's one less so what you've got here is something like something like four so n here something like Four times three times two times one at the bottom, and then you've got one less at the top. So you've got three times two times one. So these will cancel out, giving you one over four. The the point here is that if you if you simplify this, it will be one over n. And then uh, and then here, same thing here. Uh, if you simplify this, it will give you this. So now um, now well this this whole thing here will simplify to this. So uh, so now how this. So now, um, now as n tends to uh, as n tends to infinity, this is going to be zero. This is also going to be zero. So uh, so real. So this whole thing here, as n tends to infinity, this whole thing here will head towards one. This whole thing here will head towards one. So here, one times n factorial is n factorial. One times this thing here will be this thing here. So now, um, now you you can simplify this. What you've got here is uh, well, n n is one notch higher than this n minus one, so that's like you having uh, three times two times one, and then at the bottom is one less two times one. These two will cancel out, leaving you with just n. So so simplify this. That would then give you this. So now as n tends to infinity, this is going to head towards infinity. So uh, so so yeah. So the limit will be infinity, meaning there's there's no limit to uh, uh, sorry. It, the, the limit, sorry, the sequence doesn't converge. Okay, so next one here. Uh, find the uh, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, the trick here is to um, uh, the, the the trick is to rewrite this. Um, the, the the trick is to rewrite this as uh, the, the the trick is to rewrite this as this. So, uh, so if, if if I were to give you, um, if if you natural log of something to the power of n, you would move this down here, giving you n natural log of the bubble here. So, so this is a bit like uh, is a bit like this. So, so we are really going backwards here. We are really pushing this back up here. So, so from here, rewrite it as this, and then um, and then once you're once you're at this stage here, I'll ask you this. I'll ask you to. Um, to memorize this in the past, whenever you see this, um, think about think about e. Uh, re remember this in the past. Um, I've asked you to uh, to ingrain this in your mind. Whenever you see this sequence here heading towards as n heads towards infinity, then then it is e to the power of whatever whatever is here. I've asked you to ingrain this in your mind many times. So when you get to this stage here, when you get to this stage here, you've got one plus something over n to the power of n you sh when you get to this stage here you should recognize that well think about the number e when you get to this stage so um so it would be 
to the it would be whatever well this squared here because if you look at this if you look at this here this x here would be e to the power of x here so this x here will move to here so uh, so if you look at this this is your your constant here it will move to here well anyway um this thing here as as n tends to infinity um it, it will it will lead you to this now not natural log of e squared will then give you two so the limit will be 2, okay?